Yes, I appreciate that. No, no. You enjoy an afternoon off. You've done more than your share the last few months. It's about time I stepped up. We can afford it, and I... I think I need to do this. I have to go. Thanks again, Jessica. Chloe! Max! I'll be right down! Yo. This is... surreal. I know, I know. But trust me, she's actually... kinda not awful now. I mean, yeah, there's that, but... Deja vu. This reminds me of a time that never was. My mysterious Max. Damn, your name is super malleable. Maximus? Supermax? Mystery Max? Maxi Max. Yeah, not that one. Still sounds like a sanitary product. Anyways, my name is totally normal. You just abuse it is all. Maybe I just really, really like saying it. My Max. Also alliterative, for the record. That one, I don't mind at all. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so, hi Max Caulfield. Uh, hi Victoria Chase. Uh, don't worry. I'm not going to ask where you've been all this time. I think all of us who made it out had to find our own places to run to for a while. In that case, I won't ask how your star turn on the stage went. The tour had its upsides. You meet all sorts on the road. I once heard that the road always knows what it's doing. So, what do you think? I've thought about this a lot since Chloe told me. It means a lot that you'd ask. And I know how hard this must be for you as well. Yeah. Well, I feel awful for not being at the first memorial. But you didn't owe it to anyone. And you weren't alone in not being there. Yeah. Still, I don't want this to feel like a BLTN, you know? My better late than never contribution. If all this time away has proved anything to me, it's that you can't force things. Least of all, acceptance. When did you ever get so wise? I was always wise. You were just too busy telling me to go fuck my selfie to notice. Oh God, I was awful. Most of us were, but you were catchy with it. I was definitely in Club Awful for a while. We were kids. There was so much we didn't know. I think this exhibition is a great idea, Victoria. I'm in, but I don't want credit for any of my photos. You're sure? I'm sure. That's entirely your call. I respect your choice. Just give me a little time. See? No Marty McFly action. I can't believe you moved back here with all my stuff. What the fuck else would I have done with it? I had to believe you were coming back to it. Plus, you'd have gone fucking mental if you'd come home to find I'd gotten rid of this stuff. Maybe. It's weird. For a while, I didn't want to even look at these again. They just hurt too much. But now, I'm so glad to see them. We're never getting them back. And I'll never not feel that stab when I think of it all. But I owe it to them to remember. I don't remember this being in here. Dear Max, Rosemary. Who the fuck is Rosemary? Rosemary for remembrance. <sighs> Figured it was worth a shot having Hermes try to smuggle this back there for you. Lots of love to you both. Rachel and not your Chloe. But still your Chloe. Oh, wow. I... fuck. I mean, it's one thing hearing it from you. It's another... This is... I mean... Seeing it? Chloe, are you okay? I had no idea this was here. I'm happy, Max. Somewhere out there, Rachel fucking lived her life. And you got to meet her. And I still look hot with blue hair? I mean, that's what really fucking upsets me. Hey, you look hot, whatever color your hair is. Well, these definitely can't go into the exhibition. It'd be fun explaining that one away. Yeah, no. Like so much pirate booty, they should be buried away. Yeah. 
Glad we got to see them, though. Thank you, Tristan. You know, this gets me thinking, though. Uh-oh. Arcadia Bay is more than a storm. It's more than the people we lost. And my photos have no right to be its only voice. Look at what you've done here, Chloe. What the community has done. Yeah, we're pretty awesome. And? And? I think I need to call Victoria. <laughs>